Hello everyone, back to into today's uh, first video. So we're going to have a look at the GMA free monthly forecast for today's first video. This is going to take us through June, July and August. So it's like a summer 2020 uh, look ahead with the GMA. And uh, I'll get on it for you very shortly. Just say that coming up later on uh, this afternoon, we're going to have your regular week 10 day video update. And that will include all of the usual features. And uh, we'll see what's happening in uh, the next week 10 days and beyond. But starting us off is our uh, uh, free monthly look okay, with the JMA. Now, of course, we're going to be doing the uh, third and final season model roundup for the summer of uh, 2020 on Saturday. It'll be the first view up on uh, Saturday morning. The JMA will form part of that update. But, um, uh, of course, we've got another 12 or so long range models to look at in that. So uh, we can't go in depth into each and every individual model. It would take too long. So we always like to take the JMA out, isolate it out, have a look at it in its own terms, because you can get quite a lot of information from this model. So that's what we're doing uh, for uh, for this first uh, video. Ahead, of course, of the third and final summer 2020 season model roundup on Saturday. Right, so let's go on with it then. I'm going to start off with the uh, JMA uh, Northern Hemisphere uh, 500 millibar height anomaly for June. Uh, so only one month away. In theory, this should be the most reliable part of the whole thing. So uh, for June, we have, and of course, yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to uh, above average heights, to high pressure blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. This is like the North Pole uh, just here, and we've got the middle latitudes uh, around there. So uh, we've got a big area of above average heights during June being forecast to be situated pretty much over the UK and much of Western Europe as well. There's probably a trough through here. Uh, jet stream is doing something a little bit like that. There's another trough over there. So uh, we're under a big ridge of high pressure as we go through uh, into uh, into June. A large area of high pressure is centred over top of the UK and Ireland, bringing plenty of dry and fine conditions. If that is right, you expect quite a warm and fine start to the summer. We go through to month two, which is July, of course. This is a 500 millibar height anomaly for July. It looks like things are beginning to deteriorate with a pattern a little bit. Overall, we don't actually have a trough of low pressure over us, but clearly we've got some sort of weakening of pressure going on through here. This, of course, is the Azores high down there. And it just looks like it's probably trying to re-establish a bit of a westerly flow. So this might be a bit transitional. We might start off still with quite a bit of high pressure in July, but then gradually revert to uh, to like weaker pressure, even lower pressure, as the month progresses. Something like that could be happening with a bit of a re-establishment of the uh, westerly flow. And then that takes us through to August, month number three. So it's a long way out this, but the, the third month of the summer looks like it's the worst because by then we get a trough of below average height setting up to just to the north of the country and also towards Scandinavia as well. Above average heights are pulling out quite a long way from us now into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Looks like we're bringing the jet stream through as well. And so it seems like the GMA, the GMA is going for a classic sort of front-loaded type summer here where we get the warmest and driest weather through the front part of the summer through the early part of the summer and then there is a deterioration as the summer goes along so by the time we get through to august we actually have potentially quite a cool and unsettled month on our hands perhaps so let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude view and confirm that. So on this view, the British Isles is in the top right hand corner of the chart. As you look at it, you can't see the Arctic, North Pole, Greenland, Scandinavia, all those sort of areas are off the chart. But we've had a look at that view down, so we know what's going on uh, from uh, from the Arctic view down, really. So again, this is the uh, month one, 500 millibar height anomaly. Uh, for June, and we can see that uh, in June we are very much uh, dominated by high pressure. So, so high pressure is in control for June. Got some lower pressure up here, probably towards Greenland, and the jet stream has been pushing northwards uh, as well. But for us, we're under a large ridge of high pressure. This potentially leads to quite a warm month, so temperature anomalies are a little bit above average, probably would be warmer than that suggests. And a rather dry month uh, as well for most parts of the um, the country have got some rain out to our northwest that's where the jet stream is of course but for us we're in a ridge of high pressure so 
plenty of dry and fine conditions. The uh, wing direction, mean wing direction with black arrows, always a little bit difficult to make them out. But uh, overall, we've got easterlies to our south, and we're sort of bringing up a southerly type flow, really. Uh, into the country. So it looks like it's basically a high pressure dominated anticyclonic start to the summer. Then we start to see pressure weakening in July. Month number two begins to take the above average heights out to our west. We start to weaken pressure, not into low pressure yet, but we start to weaken pressure over and to the north of the country. Temperature anomalies are still holding up. They're okay, but uh, they're only on the slightly mild and average side. It is going to go a little bit more unsettled too, particularly for more northern parts of the country. The north and west side to go wet and average. England and Wales still overall just about on the drier than average side. But this is a deterioration of the pattern that we've got going on here. The, uh, the mean wind direction is sort of swinging round to be kind of west-north-westerly uh, coming in uh, like that with the black arrows. So deterioration uh, for uh, July... And then we get into August, and we can't really see the trough of below average heights that's to our north and northeast in August. Uh, but there's a trough of low pressure setting up to our north and northeast. Low pressure pulls out further into the Atlantic. We're definitely lining up a northwest southeast tra uh, trajectory to uh, the jet stream. Temperature anomalies are uh, overall still a little bit above average, so not a particularly cold summer, but it is going more unsettled. Rainfall anomalies are really going above average now through pretty much all parts of the country, except maybe extreme southern counties, but I think we see that it is turning uh, more uh, unsettled as the summer progresses. And the mean wind direction, again, it's kind of west northwesterly. So westerlies are coming back as we go through the summer, introducing uh, more of an unsettled flow from off the Atlantic. So I think the GMA is definitely going for like a front-loaded summer here. But GMA is seeing the warmest and driest weather in June. Um, and then it's deteriorating the pattern as we go through July and August. It's not a rapid deterioration, but there is definitely a, a deterioration going on here as we're going through uh, the summer months. So eventually we arrive at, in August at what does look like it could be quite a cool and uh, sort of unsettled type pattern. So that's what the GMA is showing uh, this month. Now, of course, we're going to see on Saturday how that compares to all of the other uh, long-range models. So uh, we're going to get around 12 long-range models together on Saturday, including the GMA, and we'll see how that compares. But that's definitely the idea that sort of works within the GMA uh, this month, that we have the warmest and driest weather this summer early on in June, and then there's a de deterioration, something cooler and more unsettled as the summer progresses. So we shall see how uh, the other models are looking on Saturday. That's it uh, for the JMA free monthly update, though. We'll be back later on with your uh, week's 10 video update, including all of regular features. So come back for that later. And that's all for now, though. And thanks for watching.